Hey there, welcome back to MI Tesla Guy. Thanks for coming back for another video. I'm excited for the product I'm gonna review in this video because it's something I've had my eye on for quite a while now. What is it and why was I looking for it? Well, let's take a look. All right, this product is in this box <laughs> and it's by uh, a company Last Fit or Lace Fit, I've heard it pronounced two different ways. I've actually done a review of their mats for inside of the vehicle, you know, like a trunk mat or the floor mats. And if you've not seen that yet, I will put a link in the description down below. But in this case, what I've been looking at is something that can protect the back of these seats. Uh, we're coming into, or we are now into summer. It's 90 degrees here as I'm recording this, which is warm in Michigan. I know it's not in other areas of the country. We're getting out and we're doing gardening. And last week I had to go to the hardware store to do some stuff around our deck. And you know, they talk about a Model Y being an SUV. Yeah, a small one, sport utility vehicle. It's really about the utility of the vehicle. You put these seats down and you get quite a bit of room. At the same time though, you know, these are, the back is carpet. You know, I've scuffed up this a little bit. I was looking at a way to protect the back of these. I just keep some towels in my car and I will lay the towels out over that. But as you're putting stuff in, you can move the towels and scrape it. I saw that LastFit had protectors for the back of these made out of the same material as the floor mats. And if you watch that video that I did on the floor mats, I really like that material. It, it was rubbery, but not stiff. And I liked that flexibility. So they did go ahead and send these to me. It was so, you know, not, not a huge box. And let's get in there, kind of see what we got here. Second row seat back cover mats. These on the sides and this in the middle. And I did look at the instructions, but with my amazing power of deduction, I just looked, okay, you've got this there, you've got um, a latch there and on the sides got a little cutout and then you've got the uh, cutout for the anchor uh, for if you were to put a child seat in you want to anchor over the back of it and if you look at the back you're going to see there's some velcro there or hook and loop if you want to call it that and around the outside there and you're going to see that there as well so it looks like these are pretty well formed to fit right in there i imagine it's pretty easy install we're about to find out all right, so step one is they say you put the seats down. I was thinking of doing it the old school way using these, uh, but in the back left side, driver side of the Model Y, they have a couple of buttons you can pull that will drop these. So I'm gonna do that here real quick. And as you can see, they drop with some force. All right, so this is how they're gonna be lined up. I'm gonna go from the top. Let's go from the top. Let's stick at the top and then we'll come down and get this. I'm not the most handy person, so I'm finding the child safety spot to be the hardest part of this. Shove that down in there, lift that up, tuck it underneath there. Yeah, you just lift this up. That is way, way easier. The hook and loop is very strong. <laughs> you, can, you can undo it. So that one's in. Let's do this middle one. And now in the middle one, if you remember from this seat, you've got this where you can drop down just the center one. And then you also have the latch for the child safety system, uh, child safety restraint. So um, in addition to that, you've got this little cutout here, which is how these two seats connect together. There's a bar coming there. So we go there. We go to the child safety thing, lift up this, and it'll flop right underneath there. Yeah, and I mean, you still got access to everything you need to. All right, I'm gonna hop to the other side and we'll do that one. This will go this way. So again, starting at the top, get that lined up, press it down, lift this up. Get our child, whoops, get our child safety thing figured out first here. Get that pushed down in. Now we lift that up. Yeah, the hardest part to me is that, and it doesn't mean it's hard, but is the child safety part. Um, all right, they're in there. They are attached. You got a little bit, I think it's gonna depend on what you're putting in here, on um, whether it's going to, if you have the white seats like I do, protect the back of the white seats. You do have a bit of a ramp here, but my thought is, you know, wood, 
stuff that's solid and isn't going to bow at all or dip down, you're probably going to be fine because that would come up here and it mainly ref right here. And then you'll be fine. These mats are going to protect that, these seat back protectors. If you have something that's a little more flexible and it might come over, you're probably still going to want to put a towel maybe over here. That's just my recommendation. Or maybe you don't even care, right? Maybe you don't even care if you get a little scuff or you, you risk that. I do. So I'm just mentioning it. So we'll put these back up, see how that works. Works just like how you would expect it to, in case you're wondering, you push the seats and they go up. All right, there you go. It's as simple as that. They're on there. Um, I mean, you can, you can pull them off. There's no question about that. They are just a smidge bigger than the outside, uh, but I, I think they fit quite well. I'm looking forward to using these. Uh, as you can tell, I just got them, I just installed them. If I find out that they don't end up working that well in practice or find some tip to give you about putting them in or something like that, I will make sure to make another video on that. But it's really a pretty simple product when you think about it. To me, the key is the, the fit and making sure that that hook and loop is strong enough. And it certainly seems to be strong enough. If this is something that would interest you, you can use the discount code MI Tesla Guy at LastFit's website. I will put a link to this product in the description down below. And really that discount code, that is good for, you know, a small amount off on really anything you buy from them. They got a lot of neat stuff out there and it does sound like they're coming out with some new stuff. So hopefully you enjoyed this install and brief review of the seat back protectors from LastFit. If you have them and have used them, I'd love to know your thoughts on it. Is this something you considered? Is this something you're looking for? Are there any products out there that you're interested in me taking a look at, installing, reviewing? I would love it if you'd drop me a comment down below. I always enjoy having a conversation with you all in the comments. So I look forward to seeing you on the next one.